interesting development. Unfortunately, and sardonically so, it seems we do not have an efficacious and potent armada in form of an official opposition political party and I think this is the opportune time for Ghanaians to have an alternative government to MPP and NDC because I foresee lots of implosions flowing here from. In any case, in any case, 65 years after our independence or autarky, Ghanaians are still apotheosizing about the front set of origo of their presidential aspirants. That is to say where their presidential aspirants come from. Not his merits. Not what he can do. Not his political pronunciamentos. And this shows that there's something wrong with our political system. There is something wrong the way we, we, we think about our politics. And this shows that we, lead, we need to renegotiate the character of our political state. For me, I am I am less perturbed if a northerner or a southerner become the president of Ghana because after all there is only one common denominator and that common denominator is is that is the government of the elite but elite and, and for the elite the northerners and the southness have ruled the country for over 64, 65 years. What have they used their rulership? Did they use their rulership to enhance the, 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 the welfare of the Hoi Poloi in the, in the northern and in the southern socio-economic polosphere? When is that, or when President Mahama from the north was the president of Ghana. To what extent did that enhance the welfare of Hoi Poloi in the, in the northern part of the country? When President Kofor from the south of Ashanti was the president of the country, to what extent did that enhance the welfare of the sadness. Yeah, you can see that it is all contrivance by the Ghanaian political elite to get access to power and continue the pillaging and brought of oil and gold money for their own egocentric interest and continue to masturbate in the corridors of power. If a man from Balikatanga or a man from Tamale becomes the president of the country. It doesn't change the economic fortunes either of a man from Ho or Kotiyaboa. Poverty is poverty. Dilapidating state of infrastructure exists, whether in the north or in the south. Poor Healthcare delivery system exists, whether in the north or in the south. So it is all contravance, but elitist politi political class, and, and, and it seems that uh, we, we, we fall, uh, we've fallen into that trap. In any case, 64 years after Ghana is independent, it's a reflective of the fact that Ghana still wallows 
in a state of Marxistic statism, cancerous tribalism, ethnocentric Chauvinism, syphilitic parochialism, epileptic nepotism, catalytic parochialism, and state brigandage of a brewer's doll. What a political propio 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 nuclear bacterial propionicals. With this concentration, I, I ask that you accept my pertinacious sacrilegio. Let me tell you this, Ghanaian political anomalous cabals. Until you fix the country, Ghanaians will never cut out in your poor. May God bless our super califragilistic espiritosos country, Ghana. And we will eventually make it. Have a wonderful weekend, guys, and stay blessed. And this is Kumerika Grammarian, the only Grammarian from Kumase. Thank you, guys.